Marcus. And after that, not forgetting, there was the Flemish Armada, all scattered and all officially drowned, there and then on a lovely morning after the universal flood at about 11.32, was it? Off the coast of coming home in St. Patrick, the Anabaptist, and St. Kevin the Lacustrian, with too much of tolls and lots of beggars after converting, Porto Scout and Dora, our first moments, and Napoleon the Equestrian, on his wet horse of Hanover, rising clunked there over Cabin Hogan and all their room on board, and then there was the Frankish flute of Noah's de Bars and Hedel Golgoland around about the free butter year of Notre Dame, 1132 PPO, or so, disembunking, from under Motham General Bonabuch, New Poopery, in his half a grey traditional hat, a la voila, came a la villa, and after that there he was, so terrestrial like a nail scissor, poking her scandalous and very wrong the maid in single combat under the sycamores amid the blooderings from the boom and all the gallow birds in Ara Nepal, so sylvestrious the early Queen's colleges. In 1132, Brian or Bride Street, behind the sentry man on the door, and then again they used to give the grandest, glorious, banquist, universal howled, mother hibbit lectures on Anaxigai out of doxicology. Hello, Hibernia, from sea to sea, Matt speaking. According to the pictures, postcards with sex and grammaticals in the Latimer Roman history of Latimer repeating himself, from the Viceroyne of Lord Hugh, the Lactinant, till Buckley shuts the Rajan Garekdell and Regnum Rockery Roundup, Marcus Lyon speaking, to the ocean fulls of Collegians, green and high classes, and the poor scholars, and all the old Trinitarian Senate and saints and sages and the Plymouth Brethren droning along, pianzang, zang, zang, and nodding and slipping away there like forget-me-dots. In her obedient service, round their twelve tables per pioja, at Bulgabolas, in all the four Trinity Colleges, from Ernest Euling, learning, going, grow back of Ulster. Moonster, Leanste, and Cannot. The four grandest colleges, Supper the Maida of Erin, of Calacure, and kill them all, and kill each other, and kill Kelly on the floor, where their roll was to rule the round roll that Rollo and Ruler rolled around. Those were the grandest gynae college. Histories, Lucas calling, hold the line in the John Danes lady. And his daughter, University, for old acquaintance sake, this Unitarian lady, breathtaking beauty, Bam Bam's bonniest, lived to a great age at or in about the late number eleven thirty-two, or number eleven sixty-nine. Biz Fitzmary round where she was seen by many, and widely liked, for teaching the Fatima woman history of Fatima. La Familias, repeating herself on which purposes of the spirit of nature has divinely developed in time by Sadel de Philonomy, the past and present Johnny McDougall, speaking, give me trunks, miss, and present and absent and past and present and perfect arma verum, verum romano, oh dear, oh dear. A weep for the hour when Eva believes the power, how did it all come about at the eddying back to them? If they did but get a gaze, gagar gdiagian, to hear him there, giddling and cuddling her, after the gouty old Galahad with his peer of quinifiers, and his trode of thurstons, so nefarious from his elevation of one yard and one handard, and thirty-two lines before the fourth in his Roman Catholic arms, while his deep-sea people as gazed and sazed and dazed, crazed, mazed into her dull up, bloomed, rode all in all as she nigh and browns. 
by the Cornelius Nepos Nepos and Umpka Umpka Napu Ke Klos Ah dear oh dear oh dear Bows and braces brithe when Gooses gandered garmen Amahaza Agdod It was too scalding soy for all the whole twice two four of us with their familiar making the totem, and Lally, when he lost part of his half a hat and all belongings to him, in his old futile manner, cape, towel, and draw breeches, and repeating himself and telling him now for the seek of senders, newsletters, and the mosaic of St. Priest's, to forget the past when the burglar he shoved the wretch in churn oil, and contradicting all about Lally, the ballest master of ghost of town, and his old fellow the lagoner of the Loch Lane lighthouse. Earing his wick with the pierce of railing and ligging hig, with his ladder up, and that old-time turner and his Saturday, early cloudsing and old cronioni, scully with the leather belly full of nettles, full of celts, full of lightweight belts, and all the bald rakes, or every had up in the boharine, off Artichik's road, and with moels and mamula. Mulati, the man in the Owen Mosque, and the old folks at home, and Duan Lab and La Pole, and the grand confarriation as per the Kabanga's richest store of the filest archives, and he couldn't stop laughing over Tom, Tim, Terpy, and the Air Welshman, and the four middle-aged widowers, all dangles, sangles, angles, and wrangles, and now that reminds me not to forget the four of the Welsh waves, leaping, laughing in their lumbag walk over all battle shore, and the adult conks in their half a Roman hat with an ancient Greek gloss on it. In Chester, Chester, Chester College, auction, and thank God they were all summarily divorced four years before. Ah, oh, so they say by their dear poor she-husbands in dear byward days, and never brought to mind to see no more the rain-water on the floor, but still they parted raining water laughing. Per nup but her previous old litter pie of the best of terms and be forgot. Wilk was plainly fortook by the old pilgrim cockle song, and they were singing through the wettest Indies as I was going to bury me carrot. We fell in with a lout by the name of Peebles, as also in another place by that orthodox proverb, so there was said, that old fellow knows milk, though he's not used to it latterly. And so they parted. In Dalkimont number to I, I, the good go, and the wicked is left over. As evil flows, so evil flows. I, I, ah, well, sure, that's the way. As the holy maid of Cunard said to the high remand of Coombe, for his humble position in advices, woman, squash, part, ay, ay, by decree absolute. Lucas, I know so well they could remember at the time when Carpari of the Gould Finns was in the kingship of Pooland. Mrs. Dowager Justice Squalchman, four sitter in her full bottom wig and beard, Erminia Virginia, in or aring or around about the year of by in disgrace, 1132 or 1169 or 1768, YWCA, at the married male family man's auctioneer's court in how an ackerdle. Poor Johnny of the clan of the Dougals, the poor scootsman. Oh, Hannes, nothing if not amorous dinner for gets so frightened. Sweep, sweep, on account of a full bottom. Undullable atrocity. That put the yearl of mercies on him, and the four masters in cause with a hind banged them, because he was so slow to borstle her scoon for her, when he was grooming her ladyship, instead of back-scratching her matter familiars proper, like any old Methodist, and all divorced, and in a sense interdict, in the middle of the temple, according to their dear faithful. 
Ah, now it was too bad, too bad, and stout entirely all the misacros. And poor Mark and Marcus bow and coat, from the browns of barrow in no land's land, the poor old cow ornament meter, all persecuted with Alec Roker by everybody by decree absolute. Through Heron Zilda, because he forgot himself, made King Wind and Water, and made a Neptune's mess of all of himself, sculling over the Gaiman's causeway, and because he forgot to remember to sign an old morning proxy paper a writing in request to her suitor self, on stumped Brona Lolium from Bronio to Gillet, before saying his grace before fish and then and there too, there was poor Dion Cassius Pusicum, all drowned too, before the world and her husband, because it was more improper and most wrong. When he attempted too well, he was shocking poor in his health, he said with the shingles falling off him, because he, ah, well. Now, Mrs. P. to Redmore, and let not the song go dumb upon your ire, as we say in the spasms of Davies, and we won't be too hard on him as an old monk's Presbyterian, and after that, as well as a Ross, is he made his last will and went to confession. Like the general of the Berkeleyites, at the rim of the Rome, on his two bare marrow bones, to worship his mother and sister Evangelist Sveni on Kael Ken Ridnight, and he was so sorry he was really because he left the booty button in the handsome cabin. Now, tell the truth on friends never. She was his first messes doggess, and it was very pretty peltry. And there were felts on both sides. Well, he attempted, or so they say. Ah, now forget and forgive, don't we all? And sure he was only funning, and his Andrew Martins and his old age coming over him. Well, he attempted to. Oh, the Connachy, he was tempted to attempt some Hunnish familiarities after eating a bad camp in the rude ocean. And heaven to know, sure he was dead sea, sick a bed. It was really too bad. Her poor old divorced male in the house pays for the daying at the martyr, Mrs. Macaulay's, where at the time he was taying and toying to hold the nurse tendered hand. Ah, the poor old coax. And count the buttons and her hand and frown on a bad crab, and dying to remember her. What do they were beyond, and who made a hoose a snow? Ah, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear.